What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about 10 things men should do. Every man should do every fucking day. Yes, because you know, life is stressful. Life will make you doubt yourself. Uh, you're trying to accomplish stuff. I don't know. It's just, it's tough. It's tough on everyone. But guys, today, I'm going to tell you what you should do to help yourself. All right, so we're going to go right in today. I'm not doing any extra. So, number one, be grateful. When you wake up, you should be grateful for another day and for what you have. Yes, a lot of people didn't wake up, a lot. So you up, you should be grateful for that. And also what I would recommend is a book named The Magic. So The Magic is about manifesting what you want to happen in your life. So the book recommends you that every morning you write down 10 things that you're grateful slash thankful for. Yes, anything, something, uh, I don't know, you're grateful for your friends, you're grateful for waking up, you're grateful for your car, you're grateful for the money you make for your job, for your family, whatever you're grateful for, for being smart, whatever you want to be grateful for, write that down because you know sometimes I go through that too, I wake up feeling crazy and I'm like, yo, what, what are you feeling crazy about? So then I write my 10 things and I'm like... Life is great. I, I mean, it's still some shit that's going on in your life, but life is fucking great. And you should be grateful for what you have. Seriously, trust me, it will change your mindset and it will increase your overall happiness, which is what we all want, I think. We all want to be happier. Number two, take some time for yourself. I know you're gonna be like, well, I'm so busy or whatever. Well, wake up 10 minutes earlier and it's gonna help you. You only need 10 minutes. You know, you can just sit down in silence with your thoughts. I recommend doing that. It might be a little uncomfortable, but with time and practice, it's gonna get easier, it's gonna get better, and it's gonna be very beneficial for your mental state. Or you can just sit down with your coffee, you know, but I recommend no music, no nothing like that. You just be still for a bit. Number three that you should do is have a skincare routine. And I found you a skincare routine with T.H. Henley. Yes, it's very easy, easy and complicated skincare routine because you know you want to feel good and feeling good really starts with like also your skin looking good because that's what we see so you want to look your best so what you got to do is wash your face in the fucking morning i think you guys do that i hope you do but you wash your face in the morning and obviously you wash your face at night too because it's gonna help remove all the dirty stuff that you accumulated while you were outside this soap is very gentle and it won't dry your skin off so that's the one you want to use then you use the scrub twice a week tea gently has a special scrub that leaves your skin feeling tingly refreshed and you're ready to go because it has apricot seeds and menthol and then since you wash your face twice a day morning and night tea gently created a morning moisturizer and a night moisturizer so you know how it works in the morning you put the morning one at night you put the night one because why why you go outside with your skin looking dry it needs to be moisturized it needs to be protected from the sun and all of that so you put those on and then you're ready to go. And then next thing you know, women are gonna be looking at you like, yo, your skin, can I touch it? Can I, and you're like, no, excuse me. But yes, that's what you need. So your skin is looking fresh all the time. And because Tish and Lee is sponsoring the video today, they are offering you a great deal. Just click the first link in the description and you will get 30% off your first box plus a free gift. So click that link and get started today. Number four eat and drink super clean yes so drink water i know i'm uh, bad at this because i like fucking soda and juice and yeah all the dumb shit yeah i like that but try to drink they say a gallon of water i'm forcing myself yes trying to stay hydrated is very important for your body also eating clean obviously very important it's gonna make you feel better like seriously the healthier you feel the more you're gonna be able to enjoy your life can you imagine you make money, you could have a great life, but yet something hurts all the time. This would be the worst thing. Like I know a friend, he makes crazy money, his knee be hurting 24 seven and he's miserable. He cannot enjoy shit because he's not healthy. So don't be that guy. Also, I'm not saying you have to be super extreme with your diet because I know it's tough, but try to put as much like fruit, vegetables, water, water, water. I'm gonna repeat the water. Yeah, try to do that. You gotta try to find a healthy balance. Number five, you should always try to learn something new every day. I know it's tough, but you gotta be evolving every day, learning something every day. You constantly need to be better in yourself. 
the easiest way to do that is by taking in new knowledge so you can read listen to a podcast watch the news if you want google a topic that you don't know about but that maybe you want to learn about you know you can always learn something it's not that difficult knowledge is everywhere or maybe you want to learn a new skill you know i i wanted to learn how to sing i did that for a little bit or play the piano something that you might be excited about try to learn it pretty much just try to be better than you were yesterday number six accomplish a new goal every day it doesn't have to be some big shit you know but what it's gonna do accomplishing a goal is gonna make you feel better about yourself it's gonna make you feel accomplished so i would recommend you to do it in the morning so you can start your day feeling like oh damn i did some shit like for example you were reading a book maybe you want to finish that chapter that would make you feel like okay i did something number seven you already know this one daily exercise I am not saying you gotta be a gym rat and lifting crazy weight or anything, but be active, get your body to move. I know with the pandemic, a lot of us have started working from home and we're just home, not going outside, not taking in the fucking sun and we're not exercising either. Not saying you gotta leave the house because you can work out at your house, but you can just go for a walk. Just make sure that your body is moving at least for like an hour a day because you know what happened you don't move you become stiff you eat your face off and then right there you're fat and you're struggling to lose the weight make sure i'm not saying don't eat because it's it's tough you know we want to eat but make sure you exercise because it's fine to put stuff in your head to be better but you want to have a strong mind and a strong body as well and also not to mention being fit really works for the ladies you know They'll see you, they'll be like, oh my God, you got some muscle. Oh my God, he's gonna throw me to the ceiling. And you know, you already know. Yes, we want that. We want strong men. And your sex life will be better. You will have more endurance. Number eight, connect with other people. I know we're so focused on like, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. What is the purpose of life if you're gonna be by yourself all the time, not enjoy people? You need to enjoy your loved one. You need to enjoy your friends, your family. You need to connect with new people. Life is about memories and experiences that you share with others. So I think you should try to connect with humans and you would see how it's very fulfilling. Number nine, don't miss out on opportunities. That is a big problem for a lot of people because some people do not recognize opportunities, big or small. Growth happens when you are uncomfortable. So you need to try something new. Even if you feel like, ah, oh, that's not really my thing. Oh, I don't know. Fucking try it. What is it gonna do to you? So for example, if you're like me and you're a homebody, when people invite you out, just say yes. I know you do not want to go. You prefer to stay home, do some work, chill, watch TV, buy yourself, all that shit. No go because what you know you're not realizing but you might be missing out on opportunities opportunities of like who you're gonna meet what you're gonna learn because at home we already know you're not really gonna learn much i mean you can but it's not the same we already know what's gonna happen at home you're gonna do your work you're gonna watch tv that's it when you go out you don't know who is gonna be there you don't know what type of connection you might make and in your mind you're like oh no i just want to stay home no, but you might be missing out on fucking opportunities, so fucking go out. I'm trying to convince you, but I'm trying to convince myself too, because how many times people tell me, come out, come out, yeah, 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 never go. Yes, we need to go outside and see what's out there. You gotta stop doing the same thing over and over again, because yeah, it's cool, but you're becoming stagnant. So make sure you have your eyes and mind open on new opportunities. And number 10, you have to have a balance between work and play. Yes, a lot of us, we want to hustle. We want to be the best. We want to, you know, improve. I get it. When do you play though? You got to play. What is the point of doing all this hustling, making your money and all that shit, and then you're just home like all the time? No, again, you got to go fucking outside. It needs to be a balance. I'm learning that balance too, because most of the time I'm just working and that's it. That's my life, working. And I know a lot of us are like this because we're trying to accomplish it, which is good too. But we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go crazy because life is not just about working. It's about actually working to accomplish it and enjoy the fruit of your fucking work. Because what's the point? What's the point of making all this money and you don't enjoy it, you don't spend it, you don't do nothing with it? What the fuck? So make sure you have a healthy balance. And for the guys that don't think so much about the work and they play more, it is bad too. You cannot just be playing all the time and not really focusing on growing. So again, 
it's a balance all right so that's all i have for you guys this was an easy video but i think you guys sometimes need to be reminded i need to be reminded of shit that i need to do every day on a regular basis to better myself but also to fucking enjoy myself yes and be happier with my life so hopefully that was helpful you can like share comment you can uh subscribe to my patreon at www.patreon.com slash monaco you can also follow me on instagram at medilovexo and at Melly Monaco. Guys, I love you. Make sure you do those 10 things. They're not difficult. It's just like a little list that you should maybe write down and have it by you in your phone or whatever to make sure you do those steps because I'm telling you, it will really change your life and how you feel about your life. All right. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.